Hi. Forbidden conversations. What are they? Last week I attended a town hall meet and greet kind of meeting down on Lake Street in Minneapolis at the request of some neighborhood communities, Somalis, Blacks, other groups as well. I felt that the stakes are so high for these people that I need to be down there regardless of the potential discomfort of the political establishment. When I arrived, I had a great conversation with lots of people. And in the midst of this, Representative John Thompson showed up. And I had heard that he might be invited and might arrive. I welcomed him. And I asked him to join me as we had a conversation with these folks who are concerned about housing, powerfully concerned about public safety, securing their businesses, making certain that when midnight to 6 a.m. rolls around, their businesses will not be disturbed. John Thompson was respectful. He's openly acknowledged that he's made mistakes. He has something to contribute. I'm a guy from Carver County, and I don't have any clue compared to him in terms of some of the problems on Lake Street. But having a conversation with John Thompson, I didn't change one bit my commitment to public safety, that cops need to be on the streets, that police departments all around our state are in the process of reforming themselves to be the best they can be, that incarceration has to be a tool by which we reduce felons' willingness to commit violent crimes, and that this is a Minnesota problem, not just a Minneapolis problem, and that I want to know where Governor Walz's voice voices in this whole matter. Bottom line is, as a candidate to be your next governor, I will not back down or back out because someone from a different party or someone who's had his own challenges or criticisms thrown his way might show up. Representative John Thompson and I had a good conversation with people who lived in the Lake Street area, and I think I'm a better candidate for it. We're doing things differently. We think the stakes are higher than the political establishment comfort level. I'm a doctor for all my patients, not just some. And I want to be a governor for all Minnesotans. And that means I've got to learn a lot. And I'm willing to learn from anyone. Forbidden conversations? I don't think they exist. Think about it.